Hello everyone, uh, this is my this league's PvP character. Um, this character is solely for doing PvP and all of the Grandmasters. Um, it could farm lab very well, it never dies, but it is a very slow character. Alright. This character is a Zergol's crank uh, CI character because I wanted to test out how CI worked after the patch. Um, the patch being 3.0, where they nerfed CI and energy shield to the ground. Um, I figured that it still kind of worked. This is a high ES chest. Um, these, this if Ephraim's uh, edge, this is used for the 41% increased max energy shield, and this is a high energy shield. Uh, shield and with everything here I have 12.5k so um, going full ES is still not too bad um, if you if you want if you prefer that playstyle but uh, I prefer just having 8.8k and with a, a little bit more damage um, and a little bit more survivability so I'll go over the, the tree first I suppose this character is an occultist, um, occultist ma mainly because of the Wicked Ward and the Va Bastion. So this is what makes this build very uh, tanky I suppose. Energy shield recharge is not interrupted by damage if energy shield has begun recently and we stack a lot of faster energy shield recharge rate, start of energy shield recharge. So it will always start after we take a little bit of damage. Um, so the tree mainly goes like uh, this. So we get all of the energy shield node. Pretty much that, if possible, that's on the on the skill tree. So energy shield, which uh, nodes go over here. CI is very key. Um, come up here, grab written blood. These are pretty efficient energy shield nodes. Damage over time for Scorching Ray. Um, come down here for a little bit more damage over time. Uh, we get a little bit of aura effect on this because we try to fit in. We need to fit in quite a bit of auras. Uh, we get these nodes for uh, energy shield recharge rate and faster start of energy shield. So what that means, it will recharge sooner. Um, there is a delay between recharging and after you're taking a damage. Uh, more aura nodes, grab all of these uh, energy shield nodes, uh, shaper for the the life regen and mana regen, come down here, jewel socket, I'll talk about the jewels later, elemental equilibrium again for the scorching ray, uh, elemental overload again for the scorching ray, um, two curses, uh, more energy shield, more jewel socket, burning damage for Scorching Ray, uh, Zealot's Oath for survivability, uh, aura effectiveness, and aura effectiveness over here um, for scaling discipline. Discipline is one of the ways to get a lot of flat ES added onto our build. Um, some staff block nodes. Uh, then let's go over the. Let's talk about Zergles. Then I'll talk about jewels. So Zergo says 20% chance for shield recharge to start when you block, and this is this will work with the uh, wicked ward. So whenever our energy shield recharges, or 20% whenever we block, which is all the time, um, then our energy shield will restart. So in order to max our block chance, we use uh, one. Two, three, four, five, I think, uh, five uh, reckless defenses to con to add a hundred percent of our block chance to spell block, and also these are three percent, so this is around fifteen percent chance to block. These are quite expensive right now in league, I believe. Yeah, they are around forty chaos, so yeah, those are pretty expensive because max block builds are pretty popular, um, I guess, I don't know why. 
right now I only have a 5 link for my Zergos crank um, and I think 5 link is more than enough to take care of uh, Hall of Grandmasters and Lab. So, uh, and this fits in very well because it also gives plus one to socketed gems and a lot of flat energy shield. Um, for my chest, I'm using an incandescent heart because I am CI, uh, and this gives decent enough uh, energy shield. That 25% damage taken as chaos damage is essentially 25% less elemental damage taken. So what that means is that we have 75, 75, 76, so we have, we're taking 25, 25, and 24 percent of the damage, and 25 percent of that, so a quarter of a quarter, so pretty much an eighth, an eighth of 100 percent is, um, is quite a bit of, it's pretty much an extra, uh, purity of fire, uh, purity of lightning, and purity of cold, um, so that's that's just a lot of extra mitigation, damage mitigation. Um, helmet, I am using a pretty high energy shield helmet. Um, boots, high energy shield. You don't really need movement, movement speed because you try to stack as much energy shield as possible. Uh, gloves, again, high energy shield. The enchant you want is... Uh, command of light on crit because you're taking a whole bunch of critical strike chance and the new pantheon um you take no extra damage from critical strikes if you've taken critical strike recently since you're taking crits all the time that means you don't take extra damage um i am using a pariahs for a plus two uh blue gem so it gives me a hundred flat es and i put my discipline in here to get two more levels so this is a level 22. It could be a level 23, um, and it'll be a lot better. Uh, amulet, strength, dex, and a max ES roll on it. So this is pretty good because you need the strength and you need the dex. So these are T1, T1. Um, this is a triple T1 amulet, which I got for very cheap because I'm very happy about it. Uh, energy shield on uh, your ring. And you want the Leo Craft for uh, 10 to 20 faster start energy shield recharge. So this is the craft right here. And a belt. I'm using a crystal belt with ES again and flask effect duration. Uh, flask. I'm using Avengers, Avengers, Avengers for all three elements. Avengers for this. So I recharge all because I take crits all the time. I pretty much have unlimited flasks. Uh, I am using a Rumi's to cap my block. Currently I have 6262 62, um, without my Rumi's up. If I pop it, I have 7575. 75. Alternatively, I could use an anvil for my next slot uh, for a more block. If I have one, I'll show you. Yeah, anvil. That just unequipped a whole bunch of crap. I guess I can't. <laughs> I'll go over to gem links now. After I put my auras back on. But yeah, anvil will give you an 8% chance to block. So that will bring it up to 70%. Um, gem links. I am using Scorching Ray. Uh, elemental Focus. Increased Burning. Efficacy and Swift Affliction. My sixth link would be Control Destruction, uh, but it's fine. I don't really need it. Uh, in my chest, I have a. Where is it? Cast when stunned because I'm CI and I don't have any stun immunity. I get stunned all the time. Uh, cast when stunned. I go Flame Dash, Frost Bomb, Enduring Cry. Enduring Cry is not a spell, but that's a self cast. Um, Shock Nova and Vortex, so I spew out a whole bunch of cold and lightning skills to proc EE and crit. Um, right here in my helm, I have a Blasphemy, Temp Chains, and I have a Purity of Elements to cap my res 
because capping resist is pretty hard with all these energy shield requirements. Um, energy shield gear is expensive again. Surprise, surprise. My gloves, I have cast when stunned, uh, stone golem, enfeeble, and EK. I just had a level 20 EK lying around. You don't really need to. You can put another element skill in here. That's fine. Um, enfeeble for the because I have two curses, so I can. Uh, my boots, I have cast when stunned, immortal call, molten shell, and increased duration. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I have discipline in here in my pariahs. That's pretty key. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a level 21 discipline to stick it in here to bring it up to 9k. Yes. Hopefully, uh, and a level one clarity for the memes. All right, I'll be doing a Hall of the Grandmasters, so I'll mute the mic and enjoy.
So yeah, um, this build can definitely do this without too much uh, like heartache. But as you can see, sometimes I do get pretty low, but most of the time I can just stand there and spam flasks because I have infinite flasks. Um, so staunching, warding, and heat is the main ones. I was thinking about grabbing an ignite because that's the only thing I can really die to nowadays. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much the build.